you know, just think about how old the U.S. dollar is. Like, it's like at least 150 years old. You know, Bitcoin is five years old. So, yeah, still so early in this, and so many, so many people, even just regular people, are still hearing about it and barely beginning to like learn about how it works. And you know, there's, there's, they're good. They're, they made the choice to take the red pill, go down the rabbit hole, and start <laughs> learning about this new, newfangled cryptocurrency and what it's all about. We still have those people who are still learning, you know? Yep. I, I started down that path a couple of years ago, and I'm still learning stuff, even now. I'm still learning about, you know, all kinds of stuff about how this works, especially new altcoins that come out. Uh, like, the industry is constantly changing, getting more complex, and there's always something new to learn. That's, that's why I like... Um, being a being a commentator podcasting and articles like i i i learn in the process i learn more about how this stuff works and um it's exciting it's exciting to do yeah i've definitely learned a lot about um bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general when i first started writing for coin brief um you know all all i knew about was was economics and i was like well i can you know, loosely apply economics to Bitcoin and explain some things, but now I actually know a good bit about Bitcoin itself. Um, so, you know, it's definitely it's definitely um, a learning experience, and it's interesting. It's interesting to watch, um, like, just see how much you've grown as far as your knowledge in cryptocurrency is concerned. Yeah, yeah, it's a process for for everyone in this community. I think like everyone's still learning about these things. You still have you still have a lot of people in the Bitcoin community specifically who are like very anti altcoin, who are like super skeptical of things like Ethereum, and basically any you know any other altcoin. It's like Ripple and Stellar, like they think they're all scams and and uh, you know Dark Coin, Litecoin, Red Coin, Doge Coin, like all all these. It's like it's a lot to take in and try and like analyze which ones might be worth something in the future which ones have like a good community behind it um like we have we have nice tools now like coingecko.com where you can go and they have like a there's an algorithm that like tells you which coins are are up right now based on you know price is just one factor but also community involvement developer involvement and and things like that um so yeah, like it's it's still a learning process for everyone and, and we're still in such the early days and like <laughs> I'm I'm hoping that like I can be, you know, within, you know, 5 years time that I can be like an expert in this stuff uh basically, like know about all the major altcoins, you know, what makes them all um unique and 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 what their individual potential and features are and stuff like that and maybe even like create my own like decentralized organization on ethereum like (laughs) like if i if i know how to or if i can pay someone else to do it you know there's so much potential for individuals in this space like potential for individuals to do stuff that they would have never ever ever had the ability to do if um if bitcoin hadn't come on the scene originally in 2009 thanks to satoshi nakamoto it's it's in like it's const it's a constantly evolving community, um, and really it's it's much more than a community. It's a, you know it's turning into a whole economy.